Tonight, families impacted in the worst way from the coronavirus are getting some financial help from the federal government. FEMA is providing up to $9,000 to cover funeral and burial costs for coronavirus victims. This opens up on Monday, and Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell is taking a closer look at the process. So this last year has been like no other. Funeral director David McDonald has seen the heartbreak caused by coronavirus up close for the last 13 months. 25% of our, our business was COVID related. While the pain may still be raw for families, FEMA is covering up to $9,000 in funeral expenses for people who died of complications related to COVID. This will cover funerals, interments, cremations, caskets or urns, burial plots, headstones, death certificate costs, and more. Over half a million people have been affected. So it is new to all of us. If you lost a loved one, we want to get you prepared. To qualify, the death must have happened after January 20th, 2020. This is two months before the virus was officially labeled a pandemic. COVID must be on the cause of death portion of the death certificate, and the death must have occurred in the U.S. We're getting answers to some of your other questions. A lot of families sometimes pay together, you know, relatives join in on this. How is that going to work? So the way FEMA has set up the process from the notes that we've been given and the guidance is for every COVID related death, there can only be one application for reimbursement. FEMA says if documents are submitted separately for one death, the first applicant in the family will get paid. Receipts will be needed. What type of receipts should people be keeping? Well, the main one where most expenses would be would be um, a statement of funeral goods and services, which every funeral home uh, by law has to prepare.